Hello everyone. Welcome to Krishna's online lectures. In this video of engineering mechanics, I'm going to discuss about perpendicular axis theorem, which is the part of concepts of moment of inertia. So according to perpendicular axis theorem, moment of inertia of plane lamina about an axis which is perpendicular to plane of lamina is equal to sum of the moment of inertia of lamina about two axes which are right angle to each other and it is intersecting each other at a point where perpendicular axis is passing through it. So here this perpendicular axis theorem we are going to define with the help of this theorem we will define the moment of inertia about one axis which is perpendicular to x and y axis. So moment of inertia of plane lamina about an axis perpendicular to the plane of lamina. So here we are considering one plane of area A. This arbitrary shape is represented as one plane lamina and the area of this plane lamina we are considering A. So here if this particular lamina is placed in xy plane, so this x plane and y plane are perpendicular to each other. Now here, if we are considering one small elemental area in this plane lamina with area dA. So this particular, this small elemental area dA, we are going to define according to distance from x-axis and y-axis. And g we also define according to distance from x-axis and y-axis. So, this lamina is placed at a point where the distance from y-axis is x and the distance from x-axis is y. So, this x and y are representing the position of center point of this elemental area dA. Now, here this particular term is representing two-dimensional term. But perpendicular axis theorem is applicable for three dimensions or for three directions. So, third direction we have to consider that is z direction. So, here if we are considering two dimensions as x and y which are perpendicular to each other. So, the third direction we will consider as z and this z is also perpendicular to x and y and if we are considering O as the origin. So, x and y is passing through the same origin and this z axis will also pass through the origin O, but this z axis will be perpendicular to x axis and perpendicular to y axis. And here we have to define the moment of inertia about this perpendicular axis z axis. So, moment of inertia about z axis it would be izz. Here we will consider zz, xx and yy. So, the moment of inertia would be izz. So, this izz or this z axis should be perpendicular to this in lamina of area A also and it should be perpendicular to this small elemental area DA also and should be passing through the origin O and it should be perpendicular to X and Y axis also. So, accordingly we can define the perpendicular axis theorem that is Moment of inertia of plane lamina about an axis perpendicular to plane of lamina. So, this z axis, if we are considering this third axis as the z axis, in this diagram you will understand better. So, here we are considering third axis as z axis. So, this z axis is perpendicular to this plane lamina area A and the small elemental area we are considering in this particular lamina A with area A. So, this z axis should be perpendicular to this small elemental area and here this is perpendicular to x and y axis. So, here this small elemental area is defined by these two dimensions x and y from y axis and x axis. So, we have to define the distance of this elemental area from the z axis also. So, let us consider the distance between this elemental area in z direction from origin O is r. So, here we are considering r as the distance between this elemental area A, position of elemental area dA and the origin O. So, here we are considering r, it is from z axis. So, here if we want to define izz, so according to this particular axis theorem, 
it would be equal to sum of the moment of inertia of lamina about two axes which are right angle to each other so sum of moment of inertia of lamina about two axes which are right angle to each other so here two axes are x x axis and y y axis so it should be the sum of i x x and i y y here about this we will define i x x and about this we will define i y y so the sum should be i x x plus i y y and here one more term is given it is right angle to each other so these two terms or these two axes are right angle to each other and it is intersecting each other at a point where perpendicular axis passing through it so this x axis and y axis is passing through this origin and this z axis another axis is also passing through this origin and this perpendicular axis the z axis is perpendicular axis so all three axes are passing through a common point o so according to this perpendicular axis we can define the moment of inertia of this plane lamina about third axis zz axis which is perpendicular to that lamina it is defined by izz so it is equals to summation of ixx that is moment of inertia about xx axis plus the iyy that is moment of inertia about yy axis now how we can prove this equation so if we define the moment of inertia of elemental area da about zz axis so we can define moment of inertia as the product of area and square of perpendicular distance so in z direction we have the distance as r from origin o to this elemental area a and this distance is perpendicular distance so here if we multiply this r square with da so it would be the moment of inertia of elemental area about x z z so it will be da r square this r square we can write down as x square plus y square from this diagram so it will be da x square plus y square now here this is for the small elemental area now if we are going to divide this complete lamina into number of small elemental area da so the total area total area we can write down as summation of da so here we can define the total moment of inertia in terms of summation of da so it would be total moment of inertia would be summation of da into r square here we are dividing this total lamina into number of small elemental area so accordingly the total moment of inertia would be summation of da r square or we can write down as summation of da x square plus r square if we simplify this term so it would be summation of da x square here this is first term and another term with y square so this summation of da x square we can write down as i y y and summation of da y square we can write down as i x x and this summation of da r square we write down as i z z this is about z z axis so the equation would be i z z equals to i x x plus i y y this is the proof here this equation is representing the perpendicular axis theorem where i x x is the moment of inertia of lamina about x x axis and i y y that is summation of x square is the moment of inertia of lamina about y y axis now why it is called perpendicular axis theorem because here we are going to define the moment of inertia about one axis which is perpendicular to this plane lamina as well as which is perpendicular to these two axis x x axis and y y axis and which is passing through the same origin point so according to if this kind of condition we have so we will apply the perpendicular axis theorem thank you so much for watching this video you can rate review and share this lesson with your friends and your known people and if you want to watch more lessons related to mechanical engineering please subscribe the channel